All right, this is the RF 50 millimeter F1.8, $200 lens. And so I'm just gonna see how it does with eye tracking. It's Wes, welcome to this video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the RF 50 millimeter lens, F1.8. And I am just doing some quick autofocus tests with it, comparing it to the RF 35 uh, for video. You're a beautiful person and a good person. And if no one has told you that today, let me be the first person to tell you that. All right, this is the RF35 and it's set to face tracking, eye autofocus, and we're just gonna go out of the frame and back into the frame and see how it does. It looks like it's doing pretty well. So this is one of my favorite go-to lenses and it's cheap, $4.99. Let's test the 199 RF 50 millimeter. All right, this is the RF 50 millimeter F1.8 $200 lens, and so I'm just gonna see how it does with eye tracking. Uh, looks like the bokeh is a little softer, uh, but I'll have to wait till I get in the laptop to see that. And now I'm gonna go out of the frame, and we're gonna pop back in the frame, jump back in the frame, and I think it's it's pretty tight, pretty good. All right, now we're just uh, checking one point autofocus. I have it on the background and now on the lens. That's, this is the RF50 on the background and now on the lens. I'm just testing the autofocus one point autofocus. I have it on the background and now on the lens. This is the RF35 background. Requires the background and now the lens. Seems a little slower than the RF50. All right, now we're testing spot, one point spot autofocus. Back, uh, there's the lens. There's the background, there's the lens, there's the background. Now this RF35 is stabilized and it has a six inches uh, minimum focusing distance. So you can get really close, kind of fill the frame. Let's test the 50. So now it's to have one point autofocus for testing spot autofocus. And that is the 50 coming to, into focus. And here is the guy in the background. I think it's a little more responsive. Now, uh, this lens is not stabilized, so I'm gonna move up. I'm not sure what the minimum focusing distance is. Looks like it's not quite six inches, maybe more like eight or nine. Uh, just look at that bokeh on the background though. Looks uh, very, nice and soft and creamy for a 50 mil getting that uh eight or nine inches close you can just absolutely fill the frame that's gorgeous right there very cool it's not bad it's it's not bad for being unstabilized uh-oh here's an area an issue come on find the focus so I think it was a little, the focus point I was trying to get was in shadow, and so it wasn't able to grab that. Let's try that again. There's the plant, and then back to the lens, which is in shadow. Uh, it did it fine this time. Let's try that test with the RF35. All right, so we're focused in here on the, uh, I'm using the RF35, go to the background here. And I had an incident where it was slow to pick up this lens from this angle. Seems like it's okay. These are both really pretty good, pretty sharp. Let's try it again. Seemed like it didn't grab focus when it was in the shadow area. See right there, it's a little, little slow. So it's just something to know if you're filming into the dark side of a subject. All right, so we're filming Enrique here. This is eye autofocus, the 35 mil. Looks great, looks amazing. Looks good, I'm gonna go down, see how quickly, it, it acquires it, it's great. Okay, this is eye autofocus test on Enrique on the 50 mil, go here, looks great. Go here, am I coming close? It's really fast. Oh, wow. It's good, it? It's better, <laughs> yeah. All right, so we have uh, the RF35, which I compared to the RF50. And what I found through my non-scientific test is that the RF50 focuses faster 
in most cases than the RF-35. Now the RF-35 is twice as expensive and this is for video. So I haven't tested photo yet. Uh, this is twice as expensive, um, but it also is a half macro. So maybe that's why, maybe that mechanism inside makes it a little bit um, slower to focus. And uh, so that's my preliminary results is I prefer the 50, the RF-50, uh-oh, what happened there? I prefer the 50 focusing on the fingertips and then the eyes. Eyes, slow. I don't know if I like that. 50 hand eye. It's not bad, it's okay. It's a little lens breathing, right? Yeah, that's not that fast actually. Uh, let's try it over here. All right, so we're now uh, at a slightly different angle. I'm gonna try this, focus on the hand. So we'll have to try this one more time because this seems a little bit slower here. So let's switch. Now it's just easier to line up the 35 mil because it's a little wider, uh, but we're gonna focus on the hand and now the face. Focus on the hand, now the face. And I, I think it's a little, little slower still. So I wish it were stabilized, but it does look pretty good because the R5 is stabilized. And I haven't really explored this focus control ring switch here. I'm not sure what that does. I have to research that. All right, Oops, this feels like kind of plasticky here. I was gonna say, thank you for watching this video. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. Click like and let me know, 50 mil or 35 mil, which is your preferred focal length? Oops, this feels like kind of plasticky here.